All right, well, it's Tabloid Tuesday, and we are breaking down the Hollywood headlines for you. And here giving us all the info is Penelope Jean, fresh off vacation. How yeah, are you, Penelope? I'm good. I'm glad good. to have you back. Glad yeah, to have nice you back. To be back. First thing we need to talk about while you were gone, and I don't know if you saw it, but the new Harry Potter movie has now hit a billion dollars. Isn't that worldwide. amazing? I just, so this is now the, the third highest grossing movie of all time. This is in worldwide box office sales. Number one is Aviator. Number two is Titanic, both I James just, Cameron. And now this one at number three. So it's it's remarkable. I oh think that goodness. it really has international appeal and it's really hitting a genre with young people that, um, you know, is it's intelligent. It's, um, you know, it's not just your, your average movie. It, it really causes people to think. And I think yeah. that that's part of the appeal. That's what made it different about right. Avatar and Star, and Star Wars. That was just, it's like, you can believe in these kids that you're watching on the screen, which is just amazing. Yeah, I think they're really speaking to the young people. So obviously they're doing something right. And the older people too, yeah. because a lot we'll of us- to go to, <laughs> We're gonna have to go see that movie. We have to go. I haven't and seen it And read the books apparently. Well, yes. All right, we well, moving the on books though. Better. We're talking about Jen Aniston. Yes. And I have to say, mm -hmm. you told us so, Penelope, because at the <laughs> beginning of the year when we talked about what's gonna be the big thing for the year, yes. Jen Aniston was one of this them. You said year. this was gonna be her year. Mm -hmm. And look at her, making a move. Yeah, she's making a move. So she sold her home in Beverly Hills. Mm -hmm. And of course the reported rumors are, is she going to move in with Justin, her boyfriend? And who is who is he, Penelope? Is he an actor? I'm he sorry. is an actor. Okay, okay. He's an actor and he's actually done some screenwriting. Okay. I believe even some directing. So obviously not one of the names that, that we know a whole lot about yet, but she she adores him, so I we'll see what happens. I just find somebody great. I do. You know, I really actually would hope that they have a commitment that sort of balances and right. matches this investment if she's moving in with him. Because mm -hmm. I always think that's really important if they're moving in together, that there be the commitment that really matches that investment of time right. and emotions that go into moving in with somebody. So I think we're going to have to watch and see. Um, we're speculating at this point. She might just be getting another home on her own. Hmm. So let's we'll watch. We'll see about that. Exactly. Well, speaking about watching and seeing, Fantasia, pregnant. Yes. And I, I just, I, I, I don't know. But, um, I don't know because well, just, she, it feels like it was just months ago that she was having all these issues, you know, the attempted possible suicide, right. all these other things, and then right. So her people have not announced who the baby's father is, but she is still with the on again, off again ex-boyfriend who was this married man and caused all of this drama and controversy for her. So we, you know, we're just going to have to watch and see on that one. But this is her second child. She actually was. She's 27 now. In her first child, she was pregnant at. 17 mm -hmm. that that um, that child's now nine years old yeah and talk about somebody yeah. that's just got a lot of talent I mean I've always thought that about her especially right. when she was on American Idol and and abroad so you just right. wish her all the best well of course I think she just wants to be happy um, I'm sure a lot of people question her choices but mm -hmm. um, perhaps we should just you know wait you know, and see wait and see what yeah. can we do could be true love we'll have to wait until she talks about it directly there you go. Yeah. That's for sure. All right. Well, yeah. the, the big topic that everybody was talking about, I know the ABC family was talking mm. about it. Of Ashley, course. The Bachelorette finale. She, yes. She has now found someone. But I guess my question to you, Penelope, is how much of this is really reality? Mm -hmm. I, I get that question all the time. <laughs> and I know you know the answer. So how <laughs> much of this is reality? All right. Well, you know, it's, um, it's not a scripted show, but it certainly is produced. Each one of the contestants have their own oh, yeah. producer. And they actually create storyboards. There's a storyboard room in the mansion and they're kind of creating storylines for each individual character. Mm -hmm. So in that regard, they are encouraged by their producer to sort of maybe say something or um, kind of encouraged to develop a certain personality for mm -hmm. each one of those characters. But it's not scripted. Yeah. So there, you know, there's always some producing happening in these reality shows. But very quickly, Penelope, it's just hard for me to believe, just watching all the Bachelors uh -huh. and all the Bachelorettes, that they're gonna make it. I want them to, if they're in love, right. but you know, it's just hard to believe that it's gonna happen. Right, so the question is always, can they really find love on this show? And I can tell you that they all really believe that they have. Absolutely, genuinely, they believe that they have fallen in love. I think the real, the real dilemma is, will it last? Right. And that is something that is extraordinary circumstances, um, certainly not a high probability for that to happen in right. the real world. They're put in this situation on the show where they're completely cut off from their family, their friends, their cell phones are removed. If they're caught with a cell phone, it's 
big trouble. So they are cut off from the outside world in, in sort of a bubble and they spend a couple of months in that situation and it just it makes them really feel like they have had an experience that nobody else can understand. Well, it's JP and Ashley. That's, that's it. it. That, that's it. So I guess we'll be seeing The Bachelor, Bachelorette. Oh, a lot we'll of be other, seeing lots of A lot of, of other greatness <laughs> coming from that's ABC. Right. Well, thank you so much for thank Penelope you. for being with us. Next week, we'll have yes. a whole other slew of topics. That's right. Thanks. See you then. All right, we'll get ready to strike a pose. Signature photography in studio next.